Hello and welcome to another great video brought to you by Mac Productions. Today we will be looking at the top 5 commonly known docs out there for Windows. Now we will be competing these against each other and seeing which one of these is the best to use. And we will be looking at the visual styles, the personalization that you can do with it, and the performance, and you know, all that kind of shit that we don't really want to get into right now. So who do we have today? Well, we have the Dell Doc and we have the run me doc we also have biogate doc and then we have the x windows doc and finally we have the rocket doc let's get started firstly we have the dell doc now the dell doc is actually really useful i mean you can add your own programs onto there you can add folders and you can also add categories which i which i love i love categories it it makes things a lot cleaner and simpler for example i have this adobe category right here and then I've got all my adult programs in there, I have the Autodesk in there, and then I have the games, etc. Uh, so it's really good with organizing. Uh, folder, you can't actually browse folders, you can't explore them. Um, but uh, it's, it's, it's quite good with organizing. Now let's get on to the visual style. The visual style is actually very limited in this doc. Uh, apparently, all that you can pretty much do is change color. <laughs> That's pretty much all. I mean, if you click onto this, you can use the hue and saturation to set your own color. But that's pretty much about it. You can't have any other style than this this one right here. That's it. Um, now, one of the disadvantages of this doc is that it takes really, really long for it to apply to make small changes onto the doc. So that's one of the downers, uh, down things. And uh, overall, I would give this doc 7 out of 10. Next, we have Run Me from KSoft, I think it is. And what it does is it allows you to add categories and you can add your programs into there. And you know, you have different categories that you can add yourself. Uh, now, don't think you can carry, you can click and drag the objects into subcategories, but you can click and drag them into here. Um, and then, you know, you can add your um, collection into there. So that's pretty good. Organizing is really good. And another thing it allows you to do is it allows you to explore your folder within the browser itself. So, like for example, we've got here, and you can do the same for music, pictures, and documents, etc. Um, now let's get on to style. Uh, you have loads of styles. Um, for example, uh, you can also customize your own if you go into the setting folders, like I've done here. I've got Mac Productions written here with the logo there. You'll have to Photoshop that. Uh, so you can do that, you can set the position and you know there's effects that you can do, you can also uh, come here and mess around with these, you can disable animations for speed etc. Another thing I like about the dock is you can click and drag it up and down anywhere which is quite cool. Um, and that's pretty much all. I'll give this dock um, I'd say about 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, yeah, I think, I think it blends it runs really smooth, animation is really smooth, maybe because I'm recording at 24 um, frames per second so you might not be able to see the full effect of it but animation is really quick. The next one is Viogate. Now Viogate comes with Sony Vio uh, laptops or computers uh, but it's also able to run and install on other systems. Uh, I'm running a Dell so it's perfectly running smoothly on this one. I love the animation. It, it, it's really, really smooth. And I love this little effect that it has. Um, now, uh, this is not very customizable at all. I mean, you can't even do a right click on this dock. If you want to go into settings, you just got to click this button, and this is all you get. So, in terms of personalization, mm -mm. Um, but you can click and drag programs onto there. Like, you know, I've got uh, Super Light into here, and some of these other programs. Uh, you can't add subcategories, um, but you can add folders. You can only add, this is the only subcategories you can pretty much add, you know, I mean, you can have all your pictures in here, or picture editing programs, music, and video. And this is the only category that you pretty much have. Other than that, the rest is just clickable, single click, and that's it, it runs. No right click, you can't customize the style or anything, and this is all. It runs smoothly, doesn't take a lot of uh, computer memory, so I'd say that's pretty good. And uh, it does actually get in the way. For example, this this thing right here, it gets in the way. 
Uh, but it does give you news features and stuff like that. So news updates on different things, not just one thing. Uh, it gets in the way, so I'll give it about 5 out of 10. X Windows Dock. Now, it's got a lot of tweaks that still need to be made. Um, I mean, if, let's go on to the preferences. And, I mean, it's, it's good. It's good. I mean, uh, you can have the 3D mode. Uh, so that's quite cool, actually. But, no animation. Where's, where's the, where the hell is the animation? I mean, I don't want to... Uh, anyway. So, uh, it's, it's quite cool. Uh, but what I can tell you, this really does mess up your desktop if you have it at an a what where is it reserve screen if you have a reserve screen what will happen is the icons on your desktop will move up this space uh, the space below the top part of the dock is reserved so no program will overtake that um, but it can really really annoy you um, and you know I mean if you resize it and you've still got reserve screen on then it'll start going all over the place that's not good customizable Mm, I guess, I mean, you can download a few uh, themes for uh, skins for it, and there's quite a few plugins available. But overall, I've had a very bad experience with this dock, and I'm just going to give it a 4 out of 10. Sorry, X Windows dock. It just didn't impress me. Rocket dock. Um, Rocket dock has really impressed me over time. Now, uh, I've seen this develop over time, and actually, right now, it runs great. Doesn't take up too much memory. Animation looks great. I mean, there's a, there's a lot that you can do with it. I mean, if you go into dock settings, you have everything categorized into different sections. That's great. It makes things so much easier. I mean, you can you can mess around with the size, and the bigger size, the better the animation. The quality is great. You can choose from various different styles, and actually, let me just put the size down a bit. Uh, let's do it up to here. Now, you can also make your own uh, theme. Which one? This is this is the one I've, I've messed around with it a little bit on Photoshop. And this is what I managed to come up with. Obviously, I didn't spend a lot of time. But you can customize it into your own. So, that's actually pretty cool. Um, you can do that. Uh, let me just change that to just the black. Uh, and then you have the behavior, auto-hide, pop a mouse over. And then the style is great. Position. Uh, you can edge offset it and you can center offset it which is which is quite cool so if you want it on the side like that it's great you can add it to different positions um, another thing which I really like about this is you can browse folders so say for example we've got this here click bam all of my files in that folder are here and if you want to see more then just click on that icon and it'll bring up the folder for you there we go uh, the, another thing you can do is if you go into icon settings you can change it to a grid which is another cool option and it shows you the whole grid of all the files in there so you know this is a little bit more open uh, route so but this this is a plugin which I've included in the link down below so you can download all of these docs down below rock doc I'll give it a 10 out of 10